I'm Jackie Macbeth. I'm the head of the Centre for Research Collections and head of museums here at the University of Edinburgh. And the university is the natural home for the Charles Lyell notebooks. We have a pre-existing fabulous collection of Lyell material, not just his archives, but also geological specimens at the Coburn Museum at King's Buildings. So now with the Charles Lyell notebooks, we have an unrivaled collection of Charles Lyell material anywhere in the world. And what we really want to do is join up these collections globally, uh, technologically, and examine them, investigate them, not only for their own uh, value, but also in terms of the whole history of climate change, deep time, earth sciences, from the 1830s onwards. It is, I have to say, just the most immense privilege to be able to hold the Lyle notebooks, but also to read from this copy letter uh, of Lyle to Darwin. It's 25th of September 1860, and the context of this is Darwin's work on domestication. I'll just read the first paragraph. It's just uh, such an insightful, uh, if you like, indication of the correspondence and exchange of ideas. Here, Lyle to Darwin, but on the basis of Darwin having sent Lyle his manuscript on domestication. I return the manuscript on dogs, which I think excellent. The case you make out seems very strong, not only of crosses from distinct living species having blended into the dog, but in favour of different savage races having domesticated different canine types, wolves, jackals, etc., by domestication, in accordance with the hypothesis of Pallas, having eliminated the dislike to cross with other species, as well as the tendency of such crosses to sterility. In that paragraph, there's an exchange of ideas, but there's also a going back here to, to Pallas's work, Peter Simon Pallas's work on, uh, on domestication. But note the use of the word races. Here, the connection between Lyle the ethnologist and Lyle uh, the, if you like, confidant of Darwin, who, uh, as with many, is also anxious about the implications of his work on domestication, sterility, and, if you like, the capacity of different races, different peoples, to affect domestication of the dog.